The CALA trial really showed us that with strong multidisciplinary collaboration, with extreme radiation therapy quality and oversight, and the collaboration from our study sponsor, also AstraZeneca, we were able to have technological advancements and improvements among this high-risk, locally advanced cervical cancer population throughout the globe. However, we also know that radiation therapy tends to not be the same standard throughout the world. And there are women with cervical cancer in low middle income countries that do not have the benefit of, for example, getting brachytherapy or having a center that can provide them with the technological advancements in radiation therapy that, is a, that has been made over the last several decades. And so over time, we need to continue to lift the bar in the world throughout uh, radiation therapy technology to make it available for women throughout the globe with high-risk cervical cancer. Cervical cancer outcomes are impressive in patients who even have no positive disease because they can have the combination of chemotherapy, radiation, and brachytherapy. And so we need to continue to emphasize that although we're still working hard to improve outcomes on patients, we need to allow all patients to have the standard of care, which includes a brachytherapy procedure.